there is just something about a half up, half down hair. It's partly that you get to have it out of your face and out of the way while still showing off the length, but I feel like even a simple half up just makes your hair look longer or, I don't know, makes it register with people that it is really long. And yeah, I just love it. So I'm gonna start out super basic, but I've got lots of variations for you. So if you've never done this before, basically what I do is kind of flick the hairbrush a little bit up at the end. So you can see I'm pulling it and then turning it away so that I can lift up that hair. And then I'm also going to use my thumb to get a little bit more in there. I think a lot of people use like a finger to scoop up hair along. It's basically like um, uh, creating a part. Now with using the flexi clip barrette, you don't have to worry too much about getting all the hair out of the way. But like when I do this with ponytails with my daughter, it's really important to make sure that the hair is fully separated between top and bottom. Any little stragglers in there, it's going to get caught in the ponytail holder and rip out when you pull it out. But of course, with my favorite beloved flexi clips, that is not an issue. So this is just the simple half up. I'm going to put a little of this hair serum on the length because I'm finding that I like it for just smoothing and shining when I have it down or it part down. Um, just brush through that a little bit. Okay, so next variation. What if you want a little bit of volume in the front? You can get a lot of volume with, you know, they, they made a product, like the Bump It several years ago. Um, that always got caught in my hair, but I did have one. But what we're gonna do instead is just twist a couple times and then push up. And this just gives a little bit of volume in the front, give a little bit of shapeliness to your face. You could also use, you know, part of a hair donut or something underneath your hair to give it that bump. But this is just a subtle little lift um, that I do quite often with my half ups. For these styles today, I'm using these different flexies. Um, I have the very large one, but it's worth having different sizes of them for things like this. And I particularly like the flip, which I'm showing here because it can um, go on either side and be tighter if you need it to be. So the next variation is just to do something cool with the sides. So I'm going to just rope braid on the left side and the right side and bring them together at the back. You could then keep going and braid down the length of just the part that you've brought together with the clip. Um, and that's another variation that I didn't actually show here. I'm just holding it with the flexi on one side while I do the second side and then bringing them together. And I didn't get a good shot of it um, completed, but you can tell what it looks like. Okay, next variation is any of the typical buns that you would make. You can just do it on the top half of your hair. So here I'm gonna do a, uh, I think I did a lazy wrap um, bun with just the top part of the hair. I may have taken a little bit more than half there, but tons of the buns that are on my channel, almost anyone, anyone that I can think of, you could do as a half up. And then you have the fancy cool bun that shows off your skills and also showing off your length. And then, of course, once you have this, when you get tired of wearing it down, or if you get tired of wearing it down, you can um, just wrap up the length around it, and I'll show you that in a moment as well. I'm gonna use my largest size flexi on this, and uh, it's got the maple leaf, which I love for this time of year, because it is the fall, and I'm in New England, so I got the beautiful maple leaf design that just matches so well. I just ordered one of the mushroom ones too. I'm getting obsessed with mushrooms. Uh, yeah, just 
just like everybody else. I don't know why it looks so fake here, like I'm in front of a green screen. Okay, so then what I did was I just take the length, twist it a little bit, and wrap it around the outside of that bun and tuck it in. I don't even need a spin pin or a, a bobby pin or anything for this. Just tuck it in and then I've got an updo. And I can take the bottom half in or out as I like. So far we've been talking about half up as this top part and half down as that bottom part, but what if the half up was that part and the half down was that bottom half of the length or the other way around? What if that part is up and then this part of the length is what's down? So we're gonna show some of those. First up, I'm using the Sport Flexi to make a comet tail bun, which is really just making a giant knot in your hair and then you leave the tail out and i'm going to show in a moment also another tails out variation called the maki bun but just lift it up i'm going to put the flexi barrette clip thingy across it and then let the tail hang down and then you've got the first half of your length up and the bottom half of your length down so that's kind of a half up and half down oh dear what have i done oh i didn't make it tight enough okay let me redo that And while we're on that theme, uh, what about this Ginger Rogers half up from Andrea691, who did this on her ankle length at the time hair. Um, so basically it starts with a regular half up, but then you pull the bottom half of your length up into it, like so. Oh my goodness, that is so swishy and fun. Ah, I'm in love. I will now, once again, attempt the most difficult thing I have ever done with my hair. The Celtic knot. Not the Celtic knot bun, the Celtic knot. It's so spectacular and I've gotten it before, but I tried like seven times already today. I'm gonna keep trying.
I'll link to some other people's tutorials. I very rarely use ponytail holders, um, and I don't know if you can see from here, what I'm using here are the Pro Ties, which I do have a link to in my description, but they have a little clasp so you can take them apart instead of yanking them all the way through your hair. But even with that, it's like the amount of time it takes me to pull my hair through a ponytail is just irritating. So do not often use ponytail holders for anything. This one is doing like a topsy tail thing and then you could leave it just like that, but this version they did three of them in a row down the back of your head and I thought that was so cute. Again, I don't love using the hair ties. I might see if I can do this with small flexies. Uh, doing the flip through to get that topsy tail effect might make it catch in my hair. So I'm not sure, but. I did this a while ago on TikTok and it did come out really cute. So there you have a bunch of variations to make half up, half down hairstyles, and I hope you enjoyed.